Jack Jablonski has been joining you on the All the Kings Men podcast, and I've been listening. He's been doing some great interviews. Kind of, you, you don't necessarily need any more information on the Quentin Byfields and uh, Tim Stutzels of the world, but these guys that are getting picked now, we don't know that much about them. Jack's our guy for that. How are you, Jack? I'm great. Thanks for having me, guys. It's our pleasure, Jack. Now, uh, as Cameron said, we had you on All the Kings Men talking to Rod Bracel from the US NTDP, talking to Krister Kasarainen from Finland and Sixter Funquist from Sweden. Now, three of the Kings picks today have come from those uh, from those areas that we talked about. So why don't you go ahead and walk us through what we know about Helge Granz first? Yeah, well, Helge Granz is an extremely exciting pick. You know, he's one of those guys who... Uh, provides a, a skill set offensively that you don't often see at his age. You know, one of the things that he's been uh, looked at is a guy who has identical skill set to Andre Burakovsky. Now, Burakovsky is obviously a forward, but his ability to move the puck and create plays is something that uh, the Kings are going to be extremely excited about. Defensively, he's a little raw. You know, he's got some time and uh, to, to work on that and just be a little bit more physical. You know, he's six foot three, just over 200 pounds. So, uh, he's a little bit of a project, but a guy who is definitely going to be someone that the Kings like to see uh, offensively, which, you know, in the time to come, Drew Doughty's obviously not going to be at the level that he's been at for the past years. And this is a guy that has the potential to maybe fill that role a little bit. We know the Kings care about character and personality, et cetera. Brock Faber, they traded up to get him. Um, we talked to Rod Bracewell about him and really raved about his character and his personality. Uh, what else should we know about Brock Faber? Well, he's a guy. So the big thing here is both Helga Grounds and Brock Faber are both right-handed defensemen, and they're two completely different players. Now, Brock, he isn't the highest skill set, but he's one of those guys who's uh, very hard to play against, very smart, and, and one of the guys on the ice who can almost see the play ahead of what's going on. You know, he tries to model himself like Charlie McAvoy. Now, McAvoy is probably a little bit more offensively talented, but this guy's, you know, Faber is one of the people that his attention to details is through the roof, and his IQ is one of those things where he's going to be able to excel because he can make the right play at the right time. How can you not be a hockey player if your name is Brock Faber? That's a <laughs> hockey name, and that's it a shut down defenseman name. type. That's like a stocky guy that you're coming down the wing, and you're like, I'm going to take the other side. I'm going to take the other way. Like Brock <laughs> yeah. Faber. That's yeah, a guy he's Mr. I definitely Consistent. don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Brock, yeah, Brock Faber. As a broadcaster, you've got to love the opportunity to say I, Brock Faber. I love it. I love, that's a that's a he's going to wear a single digit number, and you're just not going to get past him on the way. Well, if if I can stay on names, while you guys on your podcast have been talking about what these prospects are going to bring to the organization, Zach and I were talking about names, and they got one of our favorite ones, Alex Laferriere. Maybe if you woke up a little late today, you thought, wow, this the, the number one overall pick fell to us all the way at, <laughs> at what, number 83 overall. That's not the case, but uh, they were pretty excited about him on television from what I was seeing at least. What can you tell us about this guy, Jack? Yeah, well, Leferrier is, uh, unfortunately, he's got an identical name, so he might be living in the shadow. <laughs> Hopefully he can uh, can outdo that uh, in the years to come. But he's a right wing, six foot, 170, so... He's got a lot of room to build into his frame. You know, he's going to be one of those guys that needs a few years. Uh, the last year he played in the USL, USHL and had over a point a game. So uh, Mr. Consistent in that aspect. But overall, great hands, you know, natural goal scorer. You know, one of the guys who you would categorize as a sniper. Uh, the Kings have been looking for that for a long time. And, you know, LaFerrier is a little bit out uh, in terms of trying to make himself uh, a, a king in LA, but you know, he needs work on his skating and passing. And that's kind of what le held him back to the third round. This, this, uh, this draft rounding out the picks for the day, uh, Jack uh, taken in the third round at number 66, right wing Casper Simon Tavel. We did talk to Krister about him. What do we need to know about, uh, the tiny sniper from Finland? I shouldn't say. Tiny. Yeah. So this is a really interesting pick and I'm excited that the Kings took him because he's very high end and probably one of the most skilled players in the draft. You know, the unfortunate thing is he was a little bit injury prone and he's one of the guys who is, you know, you might want to categorize him as boomer bust or high risk, high reward. You know, he's five foot nine, one seventy, So he's not the biggest frame. Uh, he's one of those guys who has the skill to be able to play in the top six in the NHL and be a very offensive minded producing forward. The only thing is if the offense doesn't necessarily translate to North America and he can't find that in the NHL, he might not be able to stay up there. So uh, 
he's a guy who can snipe. He's a guy who can shoot and make plays. It's just a matter of, you know, can he get around with the size and be able to make plays in the offensive zone against, you know, the larger defenseman in the NHL? Well, as of now, the Kings have three picks left on the board. Jack, we'll let, get, uh, let you get back to watching the draft. I appreciate your analysis. 